I found an AI tool that makes product hunting 10 times easier and it is completely free to try out. As always, I'll have a link in the description below, but today's tool is called Axio and it is created by Alibaba. Alibaba is the largest e-commerce website in the world and because of that, you have access to over 1 billion product listings across 1.5 million suppliers, covering over 7,600 different categories of products. Needless to say, if you want to find something, you're going to find it on Axio. And in this video, I'm going to try to source a toy like this that is AI powered. So I want to show you a couple of examples first before we source my AI powered toy. You can see here we have a prompt looking for a pet harness supplier that can make something as close as possible to the sheep, adjustable dog harness made for French bulldogs, and it goes on to give information. We can actually see the image that was uploaded. You can see the harness and it says, hey, I will search for suppliers. You can actually hit view details and you can see the results from all the different products across all the different suppliers. I said there was a lot in the beginning of the video. There is definitely a lot of different options. You can get literally everything you can think of is covered here. So you can see the matches. We can see the color, how it matches. We can see the price versus the quantity that you'd have to order. If you want to find this item and you want to sell it, this is the place to go. It makes the entire process very easy. And you can see here at the supplier search, it tells you exactly what it's doing. You can see every piece of information, what matches, what doesn't. If we go here, we can actually investigate a business. So you can see here, it's going to gather information about the company, the background. So say you find a product and you want to say, hey, what does the company look like? Is it good? Blah, blah, blah. You can actually see here all the different information about the company that you are going to work with. So say you're under here, you find a good company. You're like, okay, is this the one? Is it reliable? Is it good? We can actually investigate that company and we can see, okay, how well is this company operating? So we can see the business compliance and we can see a score and then we can see a financial stability. So if you want to start a business and you want to find a product, you can actually find the product and then investigate the business and get a nice detailed background information about that business. You can see factor and scale, how big their building is, everything. You get access to all this information really quickly, really easily. So if you want to source any, any item and you want to verify the background of it, you can do it all here. So you ask the same question in ChatGPT. ChatGPT will just give you a generalized answer based off the data in its database that it was trained on. Whereas Axio connects you to actual real manufacturers that exist to provide you the product you're looking for. Then you might say, Franklin, why don't I just use Alibaba.com? And you could, but Axio is like having your own personal sourcing agent that does all the work for you. It's like a really fast, efficient way of surfing Alibaba. At least that's my understanding from using the tool. Let's give it a go now to find our AI powered toy that has ChatGPT. So we can see here, I have a prompt. I'm looking for a ChatGPT AI intelligent toy figure or AI ChatGPT stuffed toy supplier. A stuffed toy supplier that can make something fun with AI built in. It can have and use ChatGPT or Gemini or Claude. I just want an AI powered toy. You can see it here on the left, it's sourcing AI powered figure toys. We can actually talk to it back and forth. We'd have to stop it if we want to add a follow up. It is very similar to any other website where you can talk to it. The only difference is our agent is actually sourcing our toy. So we can actually see all the different websites that it's going through and it's trying to understand the market. It's trying to figure out what toys that would be good based off what my request is. So it's kind of going through it all. It's developing a plan. Our prompt was an AI intelligent toy figure or AI chat GPT stuff toy. And we can see the response here. So it matched both requirements. We have this one here, which is a custom super soft plush rabbit bear. And here is option one. And if we keep going down, we can actually see the AI toy figure. So if you guys remember, this was a popular trend not too long ago where people are putting in pictures of themselves and putting prompts in to make themselves as an action figure in a box. Well, you can actually get that made of whatever you want. So if I wanted AI Dana in this form, well, I can actually make it and then print it out and then sell it. If I keep going down, we can see all the different options 
that are AI toy suppliers. So you can see all the different ones that exist. It did a very good job at searching for this because I've tried the same exact thing on Alibaba.com and it didn't work as well. So actually, let me show you. So I said ChatGPT AI intelligence toy figure, or AI ChatGPT stuffed toy. There's a ton of keywords there that it can pick up and you can see the results, not exactly what I'm looking for. So I like this one here. We can actually click this to find similar products and it's just gonna search through AI teddy bear. We can see a bunch of different ones. I really do like the one we found originally the most, but you can actually see all the price differences between all the different toys. We can see this one here, custom, super soft, plush, blah, 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 blah. So you can kind of see all the different options. We can always go back and then we can select this one. It's going to show up in the bottom left and then we can send inquiry and we can actually say, hey, I want to receive a quote and I want to order at least one. I want to try it out first to see how well it works. And then I might order a bunch of these to start selling them. I ended up changing to this one here because I just like it a little bit more. On second thought, it just kind of looks more cute and fun. So we can actually hit send inquiry and it's going to spring up this screen here. Like before, we can actually send it through. All while recording this video, I already have a response from the business who sent me a video of the exact item I'm interested in. It's beautiful. It weighs his hand too. I am a smart baby with a saw and it is a heartless cotton ball. I can literally ask what AI is that using? I'm going to get a response and we can talk back and forth. And I did this all in the same like 10 minutes of recording this video from when I started. It is a really cool and powerful AI tool. And then to make it even more fun on the bottom left, you can actually hit the little phone icon. You can scan that code and now you get the same app on your phone. You can see here, this is very similar to the desktop version. It's just on your phone where you can take with you on the go. And you can see here, they literally said, wait a minute and I'll send it to you. So this chat is happening live as I speak, or I guess it's gonna be recorded for you guys, edit it down, but you get the idea. Let's say for a second, we don't like any of the designs that it came back with. We can actually just put up a follow-up prompt and our prompt here is, can you design 20 creative toys? That would be a robotic dog with AI and make sure the design aligns with current social media trends to attract the audience effectively. And you can see here, it's going to analyze the social media trends and it's going to design one for us. See the results here, it says based off the analysis, social media trends, it developed 20 concepts, but it's actually narrowed it down to the top five. We can actually click here. We can see the social media trends. We can see everything it's come up with. It has 20 different dogs, concepts, everything you need to know about them. It's all based off social media trends, what would actually sell. If we go down, we can see the Pixel Pup. That one looks really cool, the Scrap Bot. If we keep going down, Chrome Hound, Plushy Bot, we can see all the different ones that exist and we can like see all the different ideas that it came up with. Futuristic Dog, blah, 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 blah. So let's say we search just a robotic AI dog. You can see the results here. You can see what that looks like. But if we scroll down, there's actually like a spreadsheet as well. And it makes these spreadsheets, if you look for them, it tells you the exact platform it's on, the price, the sales. It gives you everything you need to know. And the platform is important. And the reason why I mentioned this is because of a feature that they offer. Say we pick this dog here. You can see just this icon here, it says find similar products. And we can click that across any product on this entire website. And when you do that, you're going to see Alibaba.com and you can see all the different sellers that are selling this exact dog on Alibaba.com. And there are a lot of different options you can pick from. But what is really cool is you can actually see at the top, there is multi-platform product search. So we can actually see the same ones from AliExpress and 1688, and then just global sites. So you can see all the different sites. So you can see like Timu and Dog Love Store and eBay and everything. It is all together on one single easy to use platform. And then let's say you have no clue what you want to do. You just said, hey, I want to start a business. I want to do something. You can actually hit explore opportunities. It is going to think and it's going to analyze the market, try to come up with something that's trending and help you. So you can see here, if you want to evaluate a new category, you can say, hey, do this, and then it will go forward and do it. Or if you want to find a specific niche or margin or whatever you want to do, you can go forward and then they give you these little 
uh, prompts that you can use in your AI. And then it's going to analyze the global opportunity for smart sleep aid devices. And you can kind of see what it's going to do. It's going to figure out everything you need. If I hit start now, I want to do one last example. So let's say I want to start a pizza shop in Toronto, Canada. You can actually see here it already automatically prompts. Hey, please provide information on the necessary steps and requirements. And I can actually just hit tab and it will fill in the rest of the prompt for me. It's going to help find essential kitchen equipment and everything else. So just by like starting a prompt and, you know, say I'm starting this pizza shop business, it is going to help me with everything I need to know about my pizza shop. So I'm going to hit start and then I'm going to come back and we're going to look at what it said, but you can see it's going to research the business requirements. It's hold on one second. It's going to research the business requirements for pizza shops in Toronto. It's going to search the web for information. It's going to gather information about permits, licenses, zoning law, food safety. It is going to do everything I need to know for this business. It's going to identify like, key things that I'm going to need or like equipment and it, literally everything to start my business. Then we can always hit back to view details. You're going to see it is looking up the city of Toronto for all the bylaws and things like that. And it's gathering all the essential information. It's probably creating. Yep. Here it is. The checklist for starting a pizza shop in Toronto. It takes care of everything. And you can actually see here, this is what the report already looks like. So we can see the business plan and the licensing and permits and the business license, the food premise and everything. Toronto Public Health, Toronto Building, it gives us access and it does everything for us all in one nice, easy to use package where if I want to start this business, this tool, Axio, makes it substantially easier. I think it's really cool and extremely powerful. And the fact that you get free agent searches per month make it really, really useful. Check out the link in the description below if you want to give this a try. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Love to know what you think as always. I just truly believe stuff like this, these sourcing agent tools are phenomenal, especially one that's built in with Alibaba, which just connects like super powerful database with a really amazing AI agent, just a match that makes sense. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. I cover AI on a daily basis, almost daily. And like the video, it tells the algorithm, hey, I enjoy this type of content. I want to see more of it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video. You're meant to be